Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So it's a little bit late in the day, but happy new year to everybody. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas break. I can't believe that I haven't uploaded in over a month. My day job has completely taken over and it's just been so, so busy, which is great, but obviously means that YouTube just sometimes takes a little bit of a back seat. But I did manage to film my New Year's nails. So if you're interested on how I did these, then just stay tuned. So I'm just gonna get straight onto it. I've removed my gel polish Christmas design that I had so I'm just going to debulk the rest of my nails um, down to a thin layer just to work on top of and I was messing about with embedding some glitter before Christmas so I do have the remnants of that but that's fine I'm going to cover that over and if you wanted to skip the prep part I shall put a timestamp on the screen for you now and you can jump straight to the hard gel application So once all the dust has been removed etc I can start going in with my hard gel application and if you've watched my hard gel videos before you will know that I absolutely adore working with Light Elegance Tack. It's a fantastic bonding agent and just acts as a double sided sticky tape so you just apply a very thin layer and then that cures for 30 seconds. So my favourite foolproof base to use under hard gels is the Gel Bottle Ink uh, Clear Rubber Base and a lot of you ask me why don't I use Light Elegance for my base and I do have Power Bond but it, it just doesn't work for me. I found that my nails lift and I just, I just don't like it if I'm going to be honest. So this is my favourite and I never have any lifting issues at all with this base. So I used two of the colours from the new winter collection from Light Elegance. So I use Meandering in Moscow and it's this really dark deep purple colour, like a burgundy purple and almost looks black in the pot. It is really really dark. And then for the bling I use Swing by Sweden and this is such a gorgeous glitter gel. It's that icy, golden, bluey tone. It's really beautiful. And I'm using two brushes to apply this with. So I have the same brush and it's the Light Elegance Gel Polish, but I have two of these, one for colors and one for glitter gels. So I'm going to apply Meandering in Moscow to the nails that I want this color to be on. And I'm going to do two coats of this so you don't need to go in super thick to start with. 
so it will look a little bit wishy-washy for the first coat but you can always build this up and perfect your cuticle line and everything with the second coat And then once those have cured, I'm gonna go in with Swing by Sweden. So I'm doing a fade on the pinky finger and the thumb, and then the other two nails are gonna have full coverage with the glitter gel. Now I'm not using a base color under the glitter gel because I wanted this to look um, oh, wintry and icy. So I wanted it to be a little bit see-through, but I am going to apply two coats of this to all the sections where I've applied the glitter gel. So for encapsulating, I'm using Light Elegance One Step. I have recently converted to this for encapsulating just because the consistency is a little bit runnier so it's easier to work with and you don't get any air bubbles, so that's great. And I'm using my number four oval brush for this. So just to clarify how I apply this, because I do get a lot of questions, I add a thin slip layer and that stays wet so this is going to help the build layer glide easily down the nail so when you go in with your thicker second layer it does just glide and almost just you know does the work for you so just encapsulate all of those nails and then cure those So once you've encapsulated all 10 nails and cured, you can then go in and buff and refine your shape. So on the middle finger, I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle. So I get all my crystals from Crystal Parade and I'll leave their link in the description box below. So I'm using some of these AB Swarovski crystals and they also kindly sent me this Preciosa set. It's the Crystal Fairy in Unicorn Tears. And if you wanted a comparison, it's like Swarovski Crystal Pixie. And there's so many teeny tiny pieces and they are so beautiful. So these are my nails all refined and buffed. So I'm just removing the dust initially with a duster brush. And then I'm gonna go in and give them a really, really good cleanse because we don't want anything left on the nail. So I'm just taking the Selena Ryden block brush and I'm just adding another little bit of that one step gel just in a random swirl going down the nail and this is where the crystals are going to sit. So leave that wet, 
place the crystals into the wet gel and then cure. So to finish off all these nails I'm using the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine. I'm just going to take a little detailer brush and go around the crystals, not over the crystals but just around just to support them and make sure they're in place and then I just go in with the actual brush and top coat that nail and the rest of them. So here is the finished set and I really enjoyed wearing these over New Year. I actually have them on now. The day I'm editing this, it's the 10th of January and they are so grown out so I really need to film a new set. So I hope you enjoy watching guys. It's good to be back and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!